Well, here I am, Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and uh, I'm giving you a little bit of a tour around my office, my man cave, and some of the things that I'm interested in and the things that I do, projects that I have in mind. Of course, I could take you out into my garage where I'm still working on uh, lawnmowers and a snowblower, and um, I do puttering around with my... 89 Toyota pickup. Hopefully we'll be buying a new car in the next couple of days. Well, new to us anyway. Um, and then on another video I'm going to take you down cellar because down cellar in my house I have my woodworking shop set up. And uh, it's not completely done yet. We've only been here for a couple of months and I've had lots of projects going on. But uh, yeah, I, I got into automobiles basically as a result of that little um, model and uh, it progressed through the years uh, where I get into working on real cars when I was in high school at my first car that I actually owned was a 54 Chevy two-door Del Rey uh, sedan it was baby blue with a white top and uh, was an automatic with a three uh, automatic Power Glide cast iron with a six cylinder when I first bought it. And uh, one of my friends challenged me to burn some rubber with it. Well, uh, it wouldn't burn rubber going forward, so I said, well, I could probably get it to do it in reverse. So I revved that puppy up and I just dropped it in the reverse and it chirped and banged, and that was as far as it went in reverse. So for a little while, I had to make sure that I didn't park in any place where I'd have to back up because I had no reverse. Uh, I eventually pulled the motor out and my sisters and my father and mother all said, Oh, George, you'll never get it put back together. I had the motor out, transmission out, up in the barn and uh, wood floor and I went to the junkyard and for, I believe, I paid $15, I was able to get the transmission, bell housing, uh, the clutch and pressure plate and flywheel and the pedals, everything I needed to change that thing over to a three-speed stick. And then I went down to Benny's Automotive Hardware Store, uh, General Hardware Store, I don't know if they have them in other parts of the country, but in Massachusetts it's still there. And I bought uh, a really, really cheap floor shift conversion kit for that transmission. And I think I paid all $10 for that floor shift conversion. And uh, it worked pretty good. It was a Foxcraft, as I remember. And I learned how to speed shift in that car, and I learned how to blow transmissions in that car. To the tune of that summer between uh, for two months in two months time I put in four transmissions in my car and uh, after the fourth one um, it went to the junkyard and uh, then I was had to be content with driving my father's vehicles for a while but just before I graduated from high school I had the opportunity to buy 1957 Chevy convertible and uh, it was a V8 automatic and uh, I actually finally got it on the road the day of my graduation. I graduated from high school in 1967 uh, probably before most of you guys were born but uh, it was 10 years old it already had had motor changed had a 58 motor in it and it smoked and burnt oil like crazy and the power glide leaked transmission fluid like crazy. I drove for a couple of months and uh, I was a camp counselor that summer. When I got home from the camp, I tore that thing apart. I was working at a lumber yard at that time. Tore that thing apart, pulled the motor out of it. I bought a 59 Chevy convertible, pulled the motor out of that. Had a good 283, the body was junk on that car. Mine was still pretty decent. And I went to the junkyard again and got all the stuff I needed to change my 57 convertible over to a stick. And I think I paid uh, probably $25 for that one. 
And that time I bought a Hearst Mystery Shifter. And so I had a good quality shifter and it never blew any transmissions in that car. And never tore the, tra the shifter out of it either. Like I had, the other one was constantly coming loose and I was always having to tighten things up. Uh, but those are my first two cars. One more story for this edition. I'm going to do a little bit more. Uh, on my 57 Chevy convertible, the night of my graduation, I drove it to my graduation. I had a flat tire on the way so that I was late for my graduation picture. And so the official graduation picture for my class was missing me. And there were only three people in my class, so that means one third of the class was missing. Um, after the graduation ceremonies were all over, we went back to my girlfriend's house and uh, the three of us did and uh, her dad had a pool table in his basement we had a little party there for the three of us and her dad and mom and so forth and I left there probably around midnight headed home it was about a 45 minute trip home to where I lived and wouldn't you know I had another flat tire on the way home I had to walk off the highway about a mile find a pay phone. No cell phones in those days. Found a pay phone in this little village, called my dad, walked back out to my car, and uh, he came down and uh, picked me up, took me back home. I had to go back. I took uh, my one f spare that was already flat, took that along with us, and got it fixed. So the next day I went back and put that tire on and was able to drive my 57 home. A lot of good memories with that car. Um, dated my wife in that car. Had it for several years. Uh, but that's another story for another time. So that's how I got started. And I have a few more stories to tell and maybe some more pictures to show you. And um, even some documents that you might be interested in. So for now, this is George, Shade Tree Fix It Man from here in my man cave. And we call this the Man Cave Chat. Thanks for watching. Comment. See you guys.